In this video, you're going to learn how to find the arc length or the radius or the central angle or the circumference in a circle. We're going to go through four examples together and I'm going to show you how this works. So the first thing we want to know is this formula or this relationship right here that the ratio of the central angle theta divided by 360, which represents you know, all the way around the circle, is the same ratio as the arc length is to the 2 pi r, which represents the whole circumference. So when you think of a proportion, you've got the part to the whole, like this angle theta, the central angle theta, to the whole 360, that's all the way around a circle, is the same ratio as the arc length, this portion of the circle, to the whole circumference, which is 2 pi r. So part to whole, part to whole, is how we work with these problems. So in this first one, we can see that we have a central angle of 120 degrees. So I'm going to say 120 degrees divided by 360 equals the arc length, which we don't know, x, to the whole circumference, which is 2 pi times the radius, which in this case is 3. So you can see this is like one third. So it makes sense that the arc length is one third of the whole circumference, but you can think of part to whole, part to whole. Now I'm going to reduce this down a little bit. So this is 1 over 3 equals x over 6 pi. I'm going to cross multiply on the diagonal. So this is 3x equals 6 pi. Divide both sides by 3 and you can see x equals 2 pi centimeters. That's an exact answer for the arc length. Okay, now let's go to number 2. This one we're solving for the central angle theta and they're giving us the arc length is 25 centimeters. Same idea though, we take that central angle theta divided by 360, that ratio is the same ratio as the arc length, 25, is to the whole circumference, 2 pi r. 2 pi r is the formula for the circumference. Now what we can do is we can multiply both sides by 360, okay, because multiplying dividing their inverses, that'll give us theta by itself. If we do that to the left, we have to do that to the right. This one I'm going to do on the calculator. Uh, so we've got 25 times 360 divided by, in parentheses, we're going to divide by this whole group, 14 pi. And I'm getting 204.6. I'll round a little bit. So this central angle is 204.6 degrees. Let's take a look at two more examples. Okay, if you feel like you're getting the hang of this, try number three and four. For number three now, we're going to find this circumference of this whole circle. So going back to our formula here, we've got theta, which is 80 degrees, so 80, divided by 360, equals the arc length, which they're giving us to be 13.96 inches, divided by 2 pi r. Now 2 pi r is the whole circumference. In this case, because we're looking for the circumference, I'm just going to call this c for circumference. That's the same as the 2 pi r. We're going to do our cross product. So we've got 80c is equal to 360 times 13.96. So 360 times 13.96. I'm getting 5,025.6. And we'll divide both sides by 80 to solve for our circumference. So that comes out to 62.82 inches. And let's take a look at the last example, number four, find the radius. Now, here what's interesting is they're giving us the arc length, the central angle, and how do we solve this one? So same idea, the theta is the central angle, that's 210 degrees, divided by 360. So that ratio is the same ratio as the arc length, 14.66 inches, to the whole circumference, which is 2 pi r. And our goal is to solve for r. So let's go ahead and do our cross product. So I'm going to do uh, 210 times 2 pi, which I'm going to round a little bit here. So this is 1319.47 r equals this diagonal multiplied together, 360 times 14.66, which is 5277.6. We want to solve for r, so we're going to divide both sides by 1,319.47. And so our radius is coming out to uh, four. And that is in inches. So four inches and you got it. So great job if you're able to follow these four examples uh, dealing with the radius and the central angle and the arc length and the circumference. 
I have a similar video talking about the area of a sector and that's the next uh, concept to understand. So follow me over to that video right there and we'll dive into that concept. I'll see you over there.